Hi guys, in this video I'm going to very briefly show you how to start Twitter mining. So uh, basically this entails first getting t tweets off of Twitter and into R so that then you can begin doing some text mining and learning some interesting patterns and uh, doing some mining on the, the text. So this video will focus on how to set up that connection and get those tweets into R where you can use familiar tools and perhaps the TM package uh, or other packages that you like to use to um, do so any kind of interesting kind of analysis of those tweets. So first things first, I have R open. You're going to need to install a couple packages. So go ahead and install package Twitter. And that's with a capital R at the end. So install that package. I've already installed it, so pause that and let it download and install. And the second package we're going to need here is rcurl. And pay attention to the capitalization. Okay, install these two packages. These should be enough. This has worked for me for some time. Um, there are a lot of other tutorials that show you slightly different ways to do this. This is just one way I find the simplest. Okay, so once you've installed both these packages, load them into the session. So load and load R curl. Okay, with both of these loaded, now we're, uh, we've set up the R end of things at least. Uh, we'll have to come back to this. But we're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to have a Twitter account. So uh, if you don't have one yet, you need to pause this. Go and create a Twitter account. And then once you have a Twitter account with a valid phone number, um, I've learned attached to it, then you can go to the URL apps.twitter.com. Sign in if you haven't already. Okay. And once you've signed in, you'll see uh, there there will be a button somewhere right in the middle that says "Create New App." So click on that, and uh, I have a couple screenshots here which uh, will show you what you're going to encounter. So once you click on uh, "Create New App," you'll be given this menu. So you'll have to name the app, describe it. So a description needs to be at least 10 characters. The name, I think, has to be unique. I had to go through a couple, a couple different names, so you won't be able to use this name. And a website, you could use this uh, if you don't have a website of your own. Okay, so you could just use this for now. It's not really important. Leave call callback URL um, empty. So these are the four items you'll see in the first page. So just click OK, go to the next page. And once you do that, you'll uh, sorry, scroll down and agree to the policy. Then you'll, if, if your name is unique and all your information is correct, um, you should be brought to this page where you'll by default be brought to the details tab, and your app, your API has been created, and this is the name of mine. Okay. Click over to the Keys and Tokens app uh, tab, and this is where a lot of the kind of um, information we're going to need to take into R to set up the connection is located. So, as you can see, I've blocked out my consumer key. You're going to need that. It's going to be a long string of uh, alphanumeric string. Your consumer secret, that's even longer. So you're going to need those too. You're also going to see at the bottom, if you don't have it already, at ask Twitter to create access token or to generate it. So go ahead and get those. So you'll, you'll see a long access token and an access, access token secret. So these four items are things that you'll need. These guys, I just blocked them out. That's just my name and, and uh, my ID. I didn't want to publish this. Okay, so these four that I discussed will be important. We're going to take these numbers, grab them one by one, and bring them into R. 
And how are we going to do that? Well, let's just start with the consumer key. But let me take you into R and give you this little template. Okay. So here, use this basic uh, setup to assign your consumer key to this item we'll call consumer key. So it makes sense, right? So this is a pretty standard way to do things. So copy and paste the consumer key from here into and between the quotations here. Do that for the consumer secret. Do that for access token. And do that for access secret. So once you have all these, make sure you didn't bring any spaces here. So eliminate any spaces. You shouldn't have any. And make sure you have these all quoted. OK, so we just basically assigned those four keys and secrets and tokens to these four items, these four objects that we're going to then call on with this function, setup underscore Twitter underscore O authorization. Okay, And here, you won't need to change anything because these refer to these four items that we defined here. Okay. So once you have these guys correctly copied and pasted from your API, from your account, you can use this function to set up an. Uh, basically, you're, you're setting up a hand. You're uh, setting up a handshake authorization, I believe it's called. Uh, whatever it is, you're authorizing uh, Twitter that uh, Twitter's authorizing you to to access its data through this API that you set up and pull it into R. Okay, so for me, I've set these up and they look roughly like this. So I'm just going to copy and paste mine here and enter. So I have authorization. Okay, so you'll see you'll get a yes or a no. So you can choose one for yes, two for no. Okay, and you can go ahead and um, start using uh, the Twitter package to pull tweets off Twitter. So let's just do one example, a real brief one together. So let's call these um, LFC tweets. So I'm a Liverpool fan. So let's search for recent tweets that mention Liverpool. Okay, so the function in the Twitter package is search capital T Twitter and First, you should put what you want to search. So let's search for LFC. It stands for Liverpool Football Club. Okay, search whatever you like. Another, there's a bunch of arguments here that'll help you search your tweets, but we're just going to keep this simple. So give me the for, give me the ten most recent tweets. You can set that to a thousand or whatever you like. And the language English. Okay, so enter. If our connection was properly set up, uh, we should have no error messages here. And we have now downloaded 12 uh, 10 tweets. So let's take a look at these tweets. Right. So you see, here we go. We get they're in the form of a list. So if we look at the structure of let's see, tweets, you'll see it's a little, it's a list. Okay, so it's pretty ugly. Okay, so you can convert it to a character uh, vector, and then you can also use the TM package to um, start cleaning up the text and mining the text. So um, at, at, at least let's take a look at the first couple tweets here and see what they're saying. Let's make sure that it did the right thing. Okay, so. I have my font big, so we can't even get a full tweet. So let's see. Leonard Y tweeted, two straight defeats and the Spurs, LFC and Chita City. City. Okay, I get it. Like Manchester City, win are forgotten. Okay, so this is somewhat of an optimist. 
Uh, this gentleman says, oh, I now I don't even believe you not get whatever. Okay. I don't see the LF. Oh, here's LFC. Okay, so you see it found the LFC. That's what we told it to search for. And this third tweet, just as an example, has LFC in the name. So it searched Twitter and found some recent tweets for uh, with our um, search phrase of LFC. Uh, you search whatever you like. Okay, so this video was just how to set up that qu connection with Twitter, set up that handshake authorization create that API, the packages you'll need, Twitter and rcurl, and how to at least get started by uh, pulling tweets in. From here, it's a whole bunch of directions you can go into that can get quite interesting on how, how to analyze the tweets and how to learn interesting patterns from them. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, it should definitely take you a little bit of time, especially setting up that API uh, through Twitter um, so be patient with it and once you once you've authorized it you can um, basically repeat that process every time that you want to uh, uh, mine Twitter for tweets okay and you'll get used to it after a while all right until they change something up but this has been working for me for some time all right so I hope this was helpful make sure to watch the other tutorial videos on my machine learning playlist until next time, have a great day.